Let's -a go. Oh, oh, what are what are these called again? They're like pointy, buzzy beetles, anyway. The subject of buzzy beetles. Those uh, green bats are another Mario enemy I never quite uh quite memorized the name of. What are they called anyway? Hmm. Oh man, look at all this big arrangement here. Seems to me that you're begging for a secret when you set things up like this. Ah, there's the secret, it's in that pipe. If only, you know, I were to get up to that pipe. But as it stands, I don't think getting up to that pipe is a thing that's going to happen. I think I'd probably have to... Ah, oh, come on, you dirty! I hate buzzy beetles. But the point is, if I had Yoshi here and I ate that, like, blue shell or something, I'd probably be able to get up there. Okay, so you aren't so bad, Buzzy. You aren't so bad. No, just kidding. I mean, I still... I'm not, I'm, I'm not happy about all this. Bet that blue shell will give Yoshi some kind of crazy powers. Ugh. You know, I forgot how tough Buzzy Beetles were. Wait a minute. Hold on. No. Um. Well, never mind. We're not going to get whatever's in that block. It's a real shame. So what's the deal with these blocks, anyway? In the original uh, Super Mario Brothers, the idea was that the blocks were mushroom people, you know, like toads, who had been turned into blocks. And that's why when you bump into some of them, the ones that were toads would give you special items. Because they're like, oh, hey, Mario, you're a good guy, and we want to help you. Let's uh, watch out for those blargs down there. Anyway, but after that one, there's no explanation anymore. They're just... Oh, well, whatever. Man, this is like a buzzy beetle cave. This vanilla dome sure is full of buzzy beetles. Eh, uh, I'll get the coins before I hop up here. What are these turning panel blocks called anyway? In any case, as you can see when they're spinning, they are really quite thin. So, all I can say is Mario has the balance of a tightrope walker to be able to, uh, you know, walk on them like he is. That was my careless, that was my bad. Hopefully there'll be something real good in here. Just like this. Okay. Yeah. Those togazos or whatever they are. The, uh... Fire flowers. Don't work against them. Okay, we're gonna get the coin. We got the coin. Not very smart, Buzzy Beetles aren't. You know, it's kind of weird. The Buzzy Beetles, I guess, are a kind of Koopa. I mean, right? But at the same time... Wait, what the... What's this? Um... Weird. Uh, ah, we made it. Coins, 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 coins! Oh. Oh, so... So is that what... Is that how we're playing this? We're gonna play this... We've been taking too long? Um... Okay. Okay, this level's kind of maze-like, so... It's t oh, hey! Gah, so close once again! Well, we got to the end of that cave anyway. Man, you just know there are a bunch of secrets in here we didn't get. No, like, really, we know that because the levels are marked with uh, red circles. Oh, I'm sorry, Cheep Cheep. Eh, not that sorry. So are, like, Cheep Cheep supposed to be intelligent, or are they just animals? That's one of the weird things is about, you know, some of these enemies you deal with. Like, take something like a... Like a Buzzy Beetle. Like I was saying earlier. Are they supposed to be, you know, like, intelligent soldiers, or are they just, like, animals? Like, I mean, I'm not trying to suggest that they're, you know, stupid. 
But they sure don't act like, you know, intelligent agents. They act like, well, animals. And they certainly look a lot more animal-like than your, uh, than the Koopa Troopas. Thanks for the direction, Mr. Coin Arrow. I appreciate it. See, that's good design. In effect, they're leaps of faith, but really they're not, because you know there's gonna be something down there because they put the arrows there. And that's just very nice of them. Okay, this is good. Frankly, the cape is probably more helpful when we're not in water. Indeed, when we're underwater, it's a big hindrance. It drags. You know, they talk about not good for swimming. A cape is very bad for swimming. So let's switch back to the fire flower. What? What? Ah! Oh, do you? You're kidding me! You're. You're kidding me. That was playing dirty. That was just playing darn dirty. Never mind. Forget all the positive things I was saying. This is just cruel. Okay, so the Koopalings are sending their elite football soldiers after us then, are they? You better believe they are. Oh, no! And Charge and Chucks really are pretty tough. Oh. What's... Um, well, all right, I guess we're just gotta... No! Come on. Get up here, get up, whatever's up there. Nothing? Nothing's what's up there? Okay, well, fine. Worth it. Oh! Okay. You see... You see, let me tell you something. I'm not very good at Super Mario Bros. 3. Okay? I was originally going to play Super Mario Bros. 3 instead of this one, because I figured, you know, I played through most of this one. I was a lad. But I never played through Super Mario Bros. 3. Whoa, 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 whoa! What the... <sighs> On top of everything else, they're like magic. But Super Mario Bros. 3? I don't know. It just... I find the first level of that... aggravatingly difficult. Just the first level! Oh, we get one of the bonus games then, huh? Sure, well, okay. Oh, I guess we're gonna go for the mushroom! Oh. Oh, okay, I guess we're gonna go for the, uh... For, for the power star! For, no, for the mushroom! For the mushroom! The mushroom! Oh, that wasn't quite the mushroom. Oh, we're gonna get a few matched sets here. Although this strikes me as so much being luck, I, I couldn't imagine how you could really get them all the same, you know? Oh, pretty good though. Why, well, thank you. You're not gonna give me. Oh, they're not gonna give me a fire flower? <sighs> the vanilla ghost house. Yeah, my tastes are a bit vanilla. I'm not into too much weird stuff. Actually, I really like weird stuff. I kind of live for weird stuff. It's what I look for. What the? Well, they must be dinosaur land ghosts. Because, you know, it's dinosaur land. It makes sense you have some dinosaur ghosts. Oh! If only I'd waited a second longer. I wouldn't... I wouldn't... I would have survived. That's fine. We still have 14 lives, that's plenty. Well, nothing to worry about. We'll get through here, no problem. Okay. Wait for these ghosts to... Here we go! Anyway, my main problem with Super Mario Bros. 3 is that... the controls don't feel tight. Or rather, they do. It feels like you can depend on what, uh, way that your character is gonna move. It just always feels like you're in the middle of an ice level, you know? Oh darn, I should've waited another second. <sighs> that's the- that's kind of what does- makes it unplayable to me. Is- it just- is too slippery. The whole game, it's like you're- it's like when you're playing as Luigi in this one. Except that it's like Mario. Oh, it's a big boo. That guy is tall. Still is pretty modest though. It's cute, isn't it? It's cute. Oh, they're a bunch of big boos. All right, find your big boo. That's it. Oh, it, uh, that's right. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I thought you were shy. That's the funny thing about the boos. They're spooky ghosts, but they get nervous when you look at them. They get stage fright easily. Not these ones that are circling around us, though. They're just making all kinds of goofy faces, having a grand old time, doing it too. 
To make, to make fun of us, of course. Did it just flash a scary face at me? Or bad sport? Bad, bad sport. Man, this is a really tall room. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay. Okay, um... I like that thing from the prisoner, but green. Um... What, are, what the heck? Sure, big old green ectoplasm bubbles. That's weird, the platforms disappear when they, are, when they touch those green things. It must be that those green things are portals to another ghost world. Oh, this looks good. What's this gonna do? I mean, I know exactly what's gonna do, it's a power switch. Switch! Oh, I see. I'm a fool, I am a darn, darn fool. Oh wait, there was even more! Ah, uh, Oh no! You wanna try this, Luigi? No you don't. We gotta be careful here. And I'm gonna be careful. Mario's seen it all before. Including, you know, doors to other dimensions. That's how he ended, even ended up in the mushroom world. But, he's, see, he's seen it all. He's, he's seen... Monkeys carry away his girlfriend through construction sites. He's seen all sorts of crazy stuff. Most people, you know, would see this kind of stuff and they'd be like, nah, that's enough. I've seen what no one is meant to see. But not the Mario. He's just getting started when he sees stuff like a ape carrying away his girlfriend. Much less big old green blobs that are portals to other dimensions. Ha, huh. that's the good thing about ghost houses, they give you saves. I remember that when I played this years ago, there was some secret exit in the Vanilla Dome. I think it was the only one in the whole game I actually found. Yeah, I know, that's pretty bad. But I'm just being honest here. Oh, what's this? Oh, skulls! Oh, it's a blarg! A very short blarg. Blarg! Man, those skull platforms are pretty grisly. It's pretty grim. I'm surprised it would put something quite that 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 horrific into a into a kids into a family game. It's a bunch of severed human heads with all the flesh rot away. They're probably not actually that. They're probably just some kind of animal that happens to look a little bit like a skull. Man, this is really hot. Mario, you, you should probably be wearing one of those suits that volcanologists sometimes wear when they're near uh, volcanoes. I did see a video once about, uh, you know, volcanologists and some of the crazy, crazy stuff that they, these volcanologists, we're, uh... Wait, can we fly? Ah, come on, we need, to, we need to build up a run first is the problem. Alright. Oh, here we go. Dragon coin! I don't know, I feel like if you get a dragon coin, you should have done something to earn it is the thing. Ah, oh, come on! Ah, whatever. Whatever. I want to take the high roads. I'll get some coins while I'm at it. We're almost up to another one up. Oh, that gave us all the coins we needed. Now that really was just what we needed. Mario is a fond of that phrase. I mean, I understand that. Sometimes in life, you know, I'll have a have some phrase I repeat over and over. It would be stuff like just what I needed. Oh, it's a frozen room. Okay. So now it's like we're playing Super Mario Brothers 3. I see, I can handle this in small doses, but not, not as the main thing. Oh, the whole frozen room, as pretty as it is, is just for the dragon coin? Sure. I'm fine with that. I'll take it. I'll take you. I'll take you dirty dragon coins. You filthy, stinking dragon coins. And some points, too. But, like, has anyone ever really paid attention to the uh, scores in, you know... Cut up there. There we go. Has, ever, has anyone ever really paid attention to the scores in a Mario game, though? Like, 
Is that actually a thing that someone pays attention to? Because, in my experience, that's not the part you care about. You know, I should have just ran through there. It would have been very exciting. I would have felt like Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic was just, uh, being born at around the time this game came out. It would seem to me that Sonic's fatal flaw from day one was that he has one eyeball with two pupils. It's really disgusting and kind of kind of scary, honestly. Dragon coin! Got it. But it's just madness. We we have to have some order in this world. You know, I, I you know I think that. Well, maybe if you just imagine that they're not really his eyes, but they're like some kind of strange pair of eye pattern sunglasses he wears. Then that, that might make it okay. I might be able to forgive it then. But that's not what it is. And that's the issue. Come on. We're so close. Man, every level in this game is pretty big. Uh, normally I would say exploration, which is you know, one of the things that this game really stresses. Oh, come on and uh, time limits don't go together well. But here I think they do, it, uh, because the levels are pretty big, but they're not that big, and it does ensure that you're gonna keep going back to them again. Actually, hold on, I wanna go find some alternate routes. I remember I, when I was a kid, I was so proud that I figured out how to get to that warp pipe up there in the, uh, in the upper left. Well, I suppose I ought to say to the west. So we, we can we can fly. That's probably all we really need to find the alternate levels. So, let's go to Donut Plains 1. Surely we can find the other route out of such an early level. See, there we go. I finally actually got to running. Like I said, I never actually figured out how to do that before. You're kidding me! Ah, God. Okay, fine. Once again, let's see if this works. Well, I didn't really get a chance to use it, but I'm proud I got up here, though. Very glad I got up here. Oh, um... Life is horrible. Life is just the worst. You know? That's what I think. That's, that's what I think. Mario even puts his little feet behind him when he jumps from that height, because he knows he knows he wants to fly. He wants to fly like he did in the opening, but he can't. He can't because it's a, because how could you control it? Oh, this is good. I'll take some life, sure. You know, you know what? Forget this. Uh, this is my not my lucky day. I'm gonna get this, okay? So it turns out you have to press the opposite direction you want to fly, which doesn't make any sense, but. No wonder I never managed to figure it out. It would never, ever have occurred to me to do that. Yes! Okay, so that is how it's done. That was a big fall. Man, you know, you gotta lay off that pasta, Mario. Not really, Mario. Pasta is delicious. You keep on eating all the pasta you want. He probably eats through lots of mushrooms. Me, I have yet to cook any pastas with mushrooms. I mean, not because I think it'd be bad, or because I wouldn't like it, on the contrary, I think it'd be very delicious. No! No! <laughs> oh, man. That's fine. I'm making progress. You don't make progress without getting hurt a little bit. You know? You don't learn to ride a bike without getting some scrapes. Not that I ever learned to ride a bike. I, they tried to teach me, I thought it was the most unpleasant thing ever, so I quit. Never learned. Never learned how to ride a bike. Well, at least you don't lose it when you get hit in the air. That's all I can say. Okay, we're gonna jump! There we go. No! Okay. Well, made some progress, so there was nothing on top of those cloud platforms except some coins. Which is, uh, you know, pretty boring. But, uh, I'll take what I can get. Really? Are there any of the red ones left? No? No? Is that a big... No, no, that it's a big yes! A big yes! Well, I'm here, might as well collect the coins. I might as well get the dragon coin. No reason not to, you know? No reason not to. 
Come on! <sighs> Might not be as difficult as Super Mario Bros. 3, but you know what? This is still pretty difficult. And, and, and I know what you're thinking. You're just like, you're, you're the worst person, Mackerel Phones, who ever tried to play a video game. I can't believe how bad you are. You're just so pitiful and pathetic. It makes me sick. Just watching you makes me want to scream, and I hate you. You're probably saying something like that to yourself right now, aren't you? I know how these things work. You know what? That's fine. Okay, you have every right to feel however you want to. Doesn't mean you should. Doesn't mean you should get so worked up over this. I mean, I'm really... I'm very proud that I managed making even this much progress. Oh, no, another one. Hey, Charging Chuck. I thought I took you out already. Oh, uh, must have done it on a different run of the level. In a different, uh, loop of this part of the time. Oh, yeah, I'll take it. Must have, must have done that in a different, you know, loop of timeline loop kind of deal. Come on! There we go. Man, I didn't realize how good the cape was against Charging Chucks. I say the cape is the best weapon against Charging Chucks, in fact. Not just a pretty good one, but the bad. Oh, here we go. One of the secret exits. Oh, and there is a secret exit from Donut Secret 1. Oh, I see why it's called Donut Land. It's shaped kind of like a donut. You know, we're in the hole of the donut right now. Let's go. Oh, the first underwater level. Let's avoid that uh, sleeping fish down there. I have a feeling it's one of those fish who's just gonna chase you. No, 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 no. Very persistently. Very persistently. It'll just be very stubborn about it. It'll be very upset that we woke her up. Woke her up! Woke her up! Okay, so I see it's one of these deadly one-hit murder kind of things. Oh, well, it's nothing we can't handle. A little bit of practice. This is a much more useful... Oh, I... Oh, well, I mean, I can easily get that... That cape back by going back to Donut Plains 1. You have to think this way when you're dealing with puzzles. When you're dealing with... Well, this one, it's, it's one of the interesting things about it. It is almost like a puzzle platformer. What the? What the heck? Oh, all right, Balloon Mario, sure. I was never aware of Balloon Mario. You discover all sorts of things as you get older, don't you? No, no, Mario, Mario, no, Ma Mario. Ah. Mario, Mario, Mario. That was nice while it lasted. The secret exit from this level must be in this room, though. I tell you what. Actually, can we go back in there again? Can we try a second time? Can we, can we try can we try again? Just wondering. We can! Okay, good. Now that I have some better idea of what's going on here, I can try to make good use of it. I'm really mashing the float upwards button. Coins! Man, this is a huge underground cave we're in, isn't it? So it is. No! I bet I'll get it on this try. I don't even care about get about but get getting the normal exit is totally irrelevant to me. I was hoping I might be able to go above it up there. No such luck. No, hey, hey, you, hey, you rip. What are they called? I think those enemies are called. It's like some really dumb Rip Van Winkle pun, like Rip Van Fish or something. So it's not even, it's not really even a pun. It's just like a clunky reference to Rip Van Winkle. I mean, now that I'm complaining, nothing wrong with uh, referencing old Washington Irving. Hey, no, get down, Mario. There we go. Ah, who cares that we're running out of time apparently? because we're gonna find something amazing up here at the top of this huge cavern. This huge, huge, huge cavern. There we go. No! All that was up there were dragon coins! Fine. Okay, now we're just gonna have to sprint through the rest of the level. 
Olympic style. Like, as Olympic sprinters, I mean. That's what I mean when I say Olympic style, okay? Okay, that's what I mean. It's Olympic style, Olympic sprinting, except we're swimming. So, it's really hardly any Olympic style at all. Oh, we should go this way. Thank you for your insight. I, I wouldn't have known to go to the right otherwise. Fine, let's just clear this without finding the alternate exit. It'll we'll get some kind of new path. That's one of the good things about, uh, about quitting the level. Is you get a time reset. But let's not fail this time. I need to focus. I need to buckle down. Thank you, Cheap Cheeps. Still don't understand why the enemies are called a Cheap Cheap. It just the name makes no sense at all. Like, what's Cheap Cheapy about a bird? About or, well, what's Cheap Cheapy about a fish? It sounds like the name of a bird, doesn't it? Of course it does. Oh, I see. I see what's going on here. The issue is we can't escape from the fish that's pursuing us, but if we could... Here is our alternate exit right here. That was not a hidden alternate exit at all. All the woes I went through to... You know, with that, uh... With a balloon. Wasn't, wor wasn't worth it. Luigi. You don't have anything to lose. Come on, Luigi. I'll give you a chance, Luigi. And doing your least favorite thing, dealing with ghosts. It's because Luigi's done some bad stuff in the past, and when he sees ghosts, well, they bring up the ghosts of his own past. Ghosts of his own sin. Oh. I thought that banister was a platform. Yeah, let's try that again, and this time land in a place that's more like where I want to land on. Specifically, the floor. Alright, alright, so... Uh, ghosts, yeah? Strange that even the boos are collecting these coins which have Yoshi on them. It's even stranger is that they're called dragon coins. As if Yoshi's some kind of dragon instead of some kind of weird bird dinosaur guy. Hey! 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 Here we go! Hey, 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 boo, boo. What, okay? There we go. Bye! I'm not gonna miss you, okay? I don't mean to offend you, but I really am not gonna miss you. So the shtick of the ghost house levels, other than the ghosts, obviously, is that they all have some exit that you have to get through, not just by going from one end of the level to the other. It's like a... there's some sort of trick to it. We have to, you know, be ready to really try and figure out that trick every time we go to one of these levels. And if I have seen something that is the trick, it's those coins there. There's gonna be a door on that ledge, isn't there? There's gonna be a door on that ledge. Right there, right on that ledge. Right there, exactly on where the ledge is. We can't get through that door, though, either, can we? There are five entrances to Star World and Dinosaur Land. If you find them all, you can travel between the different places. Oh, yes, that's right. You can get around the game by uh, getting the special exits that are located in um, uh, Star World, yes. That is uh, worth noting. The Star World is ultimately where all the secrets will take us to. Oh! Like this. This is a good secret if ever I've seen a good secret. Let's get the coin. Oh crap! No. When will you learn, mackerel phones? When will you ever learn? You had that in the bag. You were about to get to the Star Road, and instead, I don't even know what happened. Instead, whatever it was, though, wasn't good. Wasn't good, mackerel phones. Okay, this time, though, we're gonna get right to where you wanna be. Hear me? Right to where you wanna be. Those mushrooms always run away from them. It's almost like they don't wanna be eaten. I, I'm pretty sure that's the idea, is that they're eating them, not that they're just, like, absorbing them through, their, through, through osmosis. 
Although I understand why you might make the mistake. It's, I mean, it's the, the eating animation is very not is not detailed at all. After all, okay. Hey, hey guys, hey guys, 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 guys. Okay, guys, could you quit chasing me? Thank you. Oh, what the? What the? What's this? Is this another secret? Oh no, it's just the coin. This is boring. I was hoping for a real good secret. Instead, I got a boring secret. All right, Luigi. We're gonna jump up there. This time, we're gonna go right through the door like we should have done the first time. Right through it! Oh, what? Wait, what? How do we fight a boo boss? How is that even possible? How does that work? Um... Look, Luigi, you clearly don't have this handled. Leave this to Mario, okay? Now that he's had the best luck with, with ghosts himself, but you know. Okay, you know what? You don't, don't push your luck, okay? That's why I'm, I'm not gonna push my luck. I'm gonna accept that there's a secret ghost house, and I'll just be on my way, okay? You know, I'll deal with this with that bridge when I come to it. Man, the vanilla dome's intense. This whole game would feel way more intense if our mission wasn't just to save Peach again. It's like they regressed since Super Mario Bros. 3, which had a more elaborate story. You know, going from kingdom to kingdom to save the whole mushroom world. Let's try it again. Now, of course... What the heck is going on? So it's just every few seconds, a, a bullet bill will fire. That's what this level shtick is, isn't it? I see, yeah, that's what the level shtick is. Luigi, what do you say we go back to Donut Plains and get some, uh, uh mushrooms and things? I think that that would be a good idea. In fact, let's even go back to Yoshi's Island to get some of those things. What did eating the fruits do for Yoshi anyway? I just, I've always ate him when I played it before because it felt like it was good. You don't want to keep Yoshi well fed, he's a hungry guy. He's in, do, engaging in a lot of physical effort right now. Now Mario, I'm already keeping him well fed. Mario eats tons. Just tons of mushrooms and fire flowers and things. Wait, is he also eating the feather? If he's eating that feather, if he's eating like the feather item, that's pretty hardcore. I'll tell you what, pretty dang hardcore. Amazing how quickly you lose things, isn't it? I kind of, I kind of hate this. I really hate this. I was gonna comment on something, you know, like on how pretty the background is, on how it's so interesting seeing the sparkling cave walls as we're inside this is sparkling like the stars in the sky. Even though really, it's not the sky; it's just uh, the walls of a big old cave. But instead. What happens? I get shot, right? I get shot. That's what happens. Well, I mean, this is a war. I mean, Bowser, I'll be... You know, I really don't understand how the Mushroom Kingdom's even a viable country. The Koopas have such a better army, such a more huge army, and they're so aggressive. It's like Mario is artificially... is artificially pro... I thought the Mushroom was on that one. Okay, let's go, let's go back. Let's go back to Yoshi's Island. And get all sorts of goodies. Already! Man, what the heck? They have some kind of portable bullet bill launcher around here. You know, in the Japanese uh, original, you know, Mario universe, bullet bills are just called killers. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm the only one who thinks of killers as a decidedly, uh... I don't know. Straightforward name? I mean, they're just, it's just, I mean, well, okay, so they're not called killers, they're called Kiras. But, you know, it's it, it's supposed to be killers. Imagine that, the Super, in, in Japan, Super Mario Brothers fans have grown up, you know, well aware of uh, Bullet Bills, of course. Only there, they're called uh, killers. It's pretty brutal, you know? 
It feels that way to me, at least. Oh. Cool. I like how high up it was. That was a nice touch. And we're really flying long and high. No complaints for me. I like it. Who knows where we're going to end up? At the end of the level, apparently. Well, all I can say is wherever the secret was hidden there, it was not high up in the air. Lemmy's Castle. Imagine this is pretty scary for Bowser. After all, we're going after his kids one by one. Let's go. Truthfully, I don't think about Oh! It's a Magic Koopa! Actually, wasn't this the first one which had Magic Koopas in it? Probably. <sighs> Fine. If we're gonna take on Magic Koopas, fine. I'll do it. I'll take on all the Magic Koopas you can throw at me. One thing's for sure, that's that I'm not giving up. Oh no. Well, at least we finally stopped our unstoppable, destructive, hopping along, smashing blocks. Man, I started out with 14 lives. I'm down, I'm down to five. I already lost nine. And I'm not even, like, to the halfway point in this thing. Well, fine. There's nothing we can do get, to get down from here anyway. Oh, I see. We have to just hope he'll take out one of the blocks. That's kind of interesting design, honestly. Hey, hey, hey! Bowser definitely has the more impressive army. The Mushroom Kingdom is impossible. That state should have been swallowed up by the Koopas at this point. Instead, though, here this guy Mario comes out of nowhere. Artificially props up the country. I'm just gonna have to keep going back to Donut Plains 1. Over and over and over. That's what I'm gonna have to do. This is gonna get pretty tiresome. Oh well. That's not such a big deal. Okay, so uh, hop up. No, here we'll just let the magic Koopa there do that, do his thing, do his magics. Man, there are lots of good things hidden up there. Well, I took down the uh, magic Koopa, but at what cost? Well, I mean, I know exactly at what cost. Is it the cost of a uh... what the? Oh. Are you a different Magic Koopa, or are you the same Magic Koopa? Couldn't be the same one. We smushed the other one. Smushed him right down flat. Damn it! <sighs> What's even the point now, huh? There's no point anymore. There's no point. It's just a joke. All of it's just a filthy, stinking joke! I'm coming for you, Lemmy! You think you can get away doing this with this stuff to me? Whoa, whoa, let me, let me, let me. Let's, let's re. I, I want to reason with you. I, I, let me level with you, let me. Let me. You're a bad guy. You, you're taking after your old man. You're a bad guy, let me. Having your undead slaves serve you. Like you're, you're. I guess they're zombies, basically, in the classical sense of the term, not in the modern zombie movie sense. You, you know, in the sense of the. Slave who's been, you know, is one who's been brought back from the dead and has now become a slave again. I mean, it makes sense that, uh, that the Haitians would have had a, you know, in their sort of, sort of, uh, in voodoo, their, their, their native religion, they, they would have, uh, you know, made slavery, like, you know, it was effectively slavery be the worst thing that could happen to them, given that they were, uh, you know, once upon a time a, uh, a slave state, state until they, uh, no, no! Until they succeeded in overthrowing the government in the Haitian Revolution. <laughs> it just keeps going. Mario, you're quite a guy. 
funny they put that dragon coin there. Like, that was a hard spot to get to instead of probably the, uh... Instead of probably the easiest way to get across the platform. Hey, 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 dry bones. I'd like to have a word with you. Not really, I didn't really want to have a word with you. I don't, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I disrespect your guys' opinions. Um, I mean, you have no brains. Like, you're literally... You're literally just the undead. You're, you're literally have no brains inside your skulls. You're just Bowser slays. What the? Oh, I see. He has some dummies, and then there's the real Lemmy. Well, now you're wearing a spiky hat, Lemmy. Bet you think you're real funny, don't you? Oh, wait, that's just his hair. It's not a spiky hat at all. My bad. Wow, that's brutal! What just happened to Lemmy? Oh well, Kamek will bring him back to life with black magic later. Mario and Luigi have triumphed over Lemmy Koopa of Castle Number 3. Their quest is getting more and more difficult. Have you found the red and green switches yet? Are you saying I should have? You know what? I'm gonna go look for him. I bet you that if I just clear those, uh, some of those secret stages normally, I'll get right to one of those Switch Palaces. That's something that sticks out my memory about Super Mario 64, is activating the Switches all around the world. I thought it was fascinating the way they did that. That kind of exploration is one of the things that I think really, uh... I suppose we might say really makes a game like Super Mario 64. And I wish Mario would do more kind of deep kind of experiences like that. Alright. I'm never gonna get through this level without a fire flower. Let's, let's be real here. And look at those colorful geometric patterns in the background. I understand they're not really, like, geometric patterns, or they're, they're blocks, and they're a little... Like, we can't quite make out all of them, like, certain details of them, I mean, because they're, um, uh... uh you know, the water. It's, uh, they're, they're far away, it's perspective. And I think that's nice. I, I, I like the art style of Super Mario World. Hey. Hey. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh. No, you don't. This was just the all-around easier route to take anyway, because, you know... This way, you don't have to worry about any, uh... Well, you don't have to worry about any of those Rip Van Fishes. I'm just gonna call them that, because I don't remember what they're actually called. I know that there's also a fish in Mario called Big Bertha. I suppose after the, uh... After the, you know, the... Big Gun, World War One, The Big Bertha. Hey, where's that other Koopa? Bowser thinks that he can beat Mario. I tell you what, Bowser and his troops... Bowser would be such a... He'd be a much better villain if they used him sparingly, instead of all the time in every Mario game. Because, at this point, I just think of him as, like, the big loser. Like, not as some intimidating villain anymore. He's just a big loser. Well, I guess we lost that switch. Eh, it probably wasn't for anything important. They never stop chasing you, do they? And yet it was the cheap cheap that got me. I feel like that was a bit cheap. <laughs> oh, oh, that was a great one. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Really, I'll just be here as long as you're watching the video, but this is good. You know... I know I've been complaining, but overall, I like this. I like playing a game that's just this much, just fun! Okay, come on, let's, yeah, let's, see, that's, the, that's, see, Mario is the right idea, saying let's a go. Because that's what we really need to do sometimes, is just let's a go. See? Just let's a go every now and then, huh? And the, I hate taking out the green fish. They look so worried, like they're in a rush to get somewhere, like, oh no! I'm worried that I was dorky at prom and they're going to be embarrassing. 
Oh, wait a minute, I see it. It was for the secret exit. Well, I already went through the secret exit, which is clearly not secret. I mean, it's right there. You're gonna pass it just going through the level normally. You know, you might not necessarily get it open, but you'll notice it. I believe that all the secret exits take on the form of those, uh, lock... of those locked areas, of those locked doors. Now, here's one that's just begging for us to go through it and actually get some real stars. And so we did. Because I'm gonna be the superstar! Wasn't that one of Mario Party games wanted to be a superstar? I think so. Oh. That's all we get? Really? It's boring? It's really boring. Well, who knows, maybe there'll be something in Donut Plains 2 that'll lead us to one of the Switch Palaces. Oh, no, it's one of these levels. I don't want to get the Ah, oh, I got it! They made me get the mushroom. Those devious people. Those devious, devious people. I suppose I'm just talking about the game business. See, this is a- if you were trying to go f That's just- that's just despicable what just happened just there. Oh, wait a minute, no it's not. I thought that the cape caused it to bounce around until it, you know, hurt me. But actually what happened was... I just kicked it. No wonder something bad happened. No wonder it got hurt. Never mind, that was fair. I was with totally within the control- in my control to avoid. I like the, uh, background here. I think they did a nice job with the artwork on that one. So here's one of the places where we could, uh, benefit from having the green switch palace. Is it in here? Is it... in here? No? I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing if it is in here. Yeah, there's, it's, it's kind of funny, I think, that Bowser would train his elite soldiers after the precepts of, you know... American football. What the heck? What's even up there? Yeah, I need a Yoshi here is what I need. Okay, let's go get ourselves a Yoshi. Let's head back to Yoshi's Island. We'll catch up with Yoshi. Because I suppose it really is just one Yoshi in this game, right? I mean, I mean, we have, all, we have other Yoshis we're trying to save, but, like, our main helper in this game is actually Yoshi himself. I mean, I think. I'm gonna put together a scheme this time. Now I've saved here, so it's no. Now that I've saved here, okay, I think that things are gonna start going a bit differently for me. Because if I mess up this time, I won't have to go back to Yoshi's Island. I'll just have to, you know, load. I can do that. The issue with those bats is that they go right down to your level. They don't, you know, just aim a little bit for you. They aim right for you, which makes sense. I mean, I don't know if they're intelligent either, if they're just animals. Like, if they're just animals that live in dinosaur land, or if they're Bowser's soldiers. Or alternatively, they're animals that Bowser left here specifically. Or not Bowser, but you know, his soldiers left here to, um, uh, specifically to... Oh, come on! Okay, no! We're getting up in there. We're getting up in that pipe. In the warp pipe. We're getting in the warp pipe. No! How did we miss it? No! <laughs> Yoshi is another character who's supposedly intelligent, but who acts like some dumb animal. Hey, Yoshi. Yoshi. You're gonna be in here any second, Yoshi. I know you. I know you're gonna be here any second. And when you come back, Yoshi... Yoshi? No, Yoshi. There is Yoshi. There is Yoshi. But the shell will be back too, won't it? That's fine, I'll just wait up- I'll just wait up- up here for a sec. Okay, no. We're gonna go across after all. No, um, let the shell be- or the shell's not gonna come back. Okay, it's good. No! Yes! Alright. Another bat. I know they're not called bats. I'm sure they have some goofy, funny, endearingly silly name. But you know, I, I don't know what that name is, okay? I don't know what that name is. I don't care what it is. No! No! <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder if this 
freaking palace is worth it. Yes! Yes! Now, I'm only pretty sure that Yoshi gets some special power from, um... ...from this blue shell over here. It's really only a guess. I, I really don't know for sure that he does. No! 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 <sighs> Why'd I... Why? What'd I have to gain here? I could have sworn that... <sighs> what was even the point of that? There was no point of that at all. <laughs> oh! God! I'm not... That was just so demoralizing. That's all this is. It's just... It's just all so demoralizing. Because I am really bad at this stuff. You know what? Forget it. Who, need, who needs it? I don't care. I don't care about the stupid Switch palaces. If they want me to find them, they should give them... Put them somewhere. I can't... I'm not gonna deal with this. Let's go, let's go out and get back for, out from the underground, huh? Cheese Bridge Area. I love that name. It's the Cheese Bridge Area. Not... It's not Cheese Bridge. It's the Cheese Bridge Area. This is good. All right, well, let's go. Oh, this is saw blades. Oh, this is very dangerous. Who are they thinking putting saw blades here? What even are these strange devices? Who put them here and why? I like how Yoshi can jump on them. Yoshi is very tough shoes. What can I say though? Yoshi's a pretty tough cookie. Anyway, so I guess this is the cheese bridge we're on. This is a very uh, liberal definition of bridge. I would not call this a bridge. I would call this... Well, it seems to be some sort of death trap, judging by all the saws. What the... What the... What's that? Give me that. Oh... I like this. This is the kind of thing I like. Well, that was really weird. I just got out of there. That's because there's some way to probably get directly up to ca Castle Number 4 from the Cheese Bridge area. Let's try it again. No! Forget it. We're going to Cookie Mountain. Sounds like it. Yeah, this whole game, it seems like... Names sound like names from, from like Kirby Superstar or something. With a the food theme. Auntie Mole? What the? Bowser has soldiers who just by stomping can spring fire spewing from the depths of the earth. And he's he is getting pretty crazy. Getting pretty hardcore. Man, that's pretty tough powers right there. Yeah, yeah man, that, I just keep being just struck. Mushroom Kingdom doesn't even have any military. It's pretty much just Mario. That is such an unsustainable system. Anyway, it's very careless of the, the Koopas just leave their, you know, shells lying around like that. They're, they're well aware at this point that the Mario, the Mario weaponizes them against them. Eh, can we get on top of this warp pipe somehow? Probably. But I'm not on top of it right now, that's for sure. Oh, here's where I want to be. Hmm, what are we gonna find up here, you think? Anything? I bet you we will. If we really go looking. Like, for example, we'll be on top of the warp pipe that I was just referring to. Really, nothing's in it? I'm kinda surprised, not gonna lie. Not gonna... LIE! I know, I know I missed the one up. Okay, I don't care. I don't mind that I missed the one up. Is there gonna be some secret up here? Oh! Um... <sighs> we should have found those palaces by now, is all I can say. It's looking to me like these are some pretty nice palaces, these Switch palaces. They'll be full of coins like the yellow Switch palace was, you know? 
And I'd, I would activate all these switches, and it'd be very helpful to have active. But as it is, I don't even know where to look for them. Well, I mean, I do. I mean, I know they're somewhere out there. Apparently before Vanilla Dome, or perhaps in Vanilla Dome. Perhaps in Vanilla Dome. Well, fine. Let's just let's be let's be in our way. Let's break the tape, though. I think we should at least do that. I'm all ready to Ludwig's place. Let's -a go. What a narrow passage. What the? Is that like a dry spiny? I think it was. Yeah, they're d they're dry spinies. Wow, okay, this is getting pretty pretty crazy. How was I supposed to dodge those though? I don't know. I do know that I'll be on my way, however. Oh. Um. Um. Oh no! Turn it off! Okay. Yeah, they're dry spinies, all right. Man, that's very inconvenient. I'm used to just having to turn on a light switch or something. These poor Koopas, though, they gotta turn off their spike collapsing ceiling. Any soldiers who were in there, they'd be dead now. Yeah, that's, that's this recurring pattern with the Koopas. It's this rampant. Rampant disregard for their soldiers' well-being. Of course, uh, the main sign of that is that they'd put them up against Mario, who, as we all know, is an unstoppable killing machine. Unstoppable. Of course, it probably helped that they gave the Koopas some kind of weapons. It's really, I mean, you're not not all that much of an army when they're just guys, you know. It's kind of it's kind of it's kind of pitiful. Kind of pitiful. I mean, clearly that one was still enough for me. Hey, hey, Koopa. Koop. Bye, Koopa. Man, it's a good thing they're not doing that to Mario. That would be really effective. Oh, jeez. Do I really want to deal with this? Nah, I don't. I don't. I'm not going to deal with that. Forget it. Um... Funny how gravity works. Um... Really, it's kind of weird that just, like, touching the top of them causes them to fall off. I mean, Mario is no doubt really pushing it with all his weight when he knocks them off here. Oh. What the... You here? Hello? Um... Oh, yeah, there he is. Nice try. Oh, you're... You're gonna go on your shell? This is real original. Oh! Okay, this is a little more crazy. That was a pretty impressive jump, I'm not gonna lie. And I know about these things. I mean, Mario is one jump, one crazy jumper. Hard to find a better jumper than Mario. They used to call him Jumpman, you know. Another Koopaling down. I'm surprised too, Mario. Ludwig von Koopa's days of composing Koopa symphonies in Castle Number no. Four are over. The Forest of Illusion lies ahead. Mario and Luigi must now try to solve the puzzle of this perplexing forest. I have to say, Mario, I'm as surprised as you are about what happened to that castle. Ah yes, the Forest of Illusion. I remember that occasionally I would remember this melody. 
and I would think that it was from a link to the past. Imagine my surprise when, not that long before I uh, began playing this again, I realized it was from Super Mario World. I know I've seen somewhere Mario riding a Lakitu cloud to a secret exit in Super Mario World. I'm guessing it's going to be around here somewhere. I don't remember if it was in the Forest of Illusion, though. <laughs> 